Hi guys, welcome back. Right, so first off, I just want to apologise for the lack of coin hunt videos. Um, I haven't been to the bank to get new coins, basically. Something happened to my personal life and my mental health's taken quite a hit. So I've been pretty useless, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to try and get out and get the new coins this weekend. So it's Thursday when I'm filming this. Um, so maybe even tomorrow I'll try and get out, if not Monday. But I will try my hardest to get a get coins to get a hunt video out on Tuesday next week. So I appreciate your patience. Right, so I'm going to be showing some stuff that I've got recently. One of the things I did buy, oh, probably like a month ago now, but I didn't show it because it was a giveaway prize as well. I got myself on. So yeah, I'll show that, have a bit of a better look at it because we couldn't really see it very well in the giveaway video. Then I've got two change checker things. I've got another thing that's in change checker packaging, but I got from eBay. And then another few coins, a letter and a note that I was given. So we'll jump in. First thing I will show is the penguin. 50p's. So these were part of my giveaway, but I did buy myself a set. Um, so we can take a look, closer look now as my prizes have been sent out and it's all good. Right, so these are Falkland Islands 2020 penguins. They're uncirculated, they're not brilliantly uncirculated, so they have been in bags with other coins, hence a few little scratches and stuff. Uh, so this is the... Ma Magell Ma Magellanic Penguin. <laughs> I probably should have done some research. Yeah, so I'm not going to touch it. So Falkland Islands, 2020, Elizabeth II. So yeah. That is the first one. I like the frosted finish on these. I think it looks very smart. The second one is the King Penguin. Um, there's two of them on there. Very cute. I do like these. I think they're really sweet. Um, everyone that I know is a sucker for an animal on a coin. I haven't filmed for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Alright, so the third one, we have the Gen 2 Penguin. Again, don't really know much about it. Just looks pretty cool. There's fingerprints on it. That's probably me when I was playing around with them. And then the final one is the Rockhopper Penguin. So yeah, I figured it was, it was, just, it was a nice little set. Um, it wasn't too expensive. And it's something I've had my eye on, so I figured, well, why not? So yeah, I did pick those up a while ago. That's what I was waiting for um, when I was waiting to film my giveaway. Because they come from the Falklands, so it took about 10 days, I think. But yeah, so, first lot, penguins. So the next thing that came was this, which is the Gruffalo and the Mouse. It is the, what year was it? Oh, 2019. So this was one of those face value ones. So I got this 450p, which is pretty cool. Uh, come with scratch card, I've already got this one. I'm not sure if I scratched this off on a uh, video or not. I can't remember, probably not. But these are being sent off to a friend of mine. So, not a bad deal that, 50p for a, a 50p. Alright, so the next thing I got was this, which I've been after for the longest time. But this was an eBay purchase, you can't get it on Change Checker anymore. And I don't, I don't think you can even get it in the Royal, Royal, Royal Mail again. 
I don't think you can get it in the Royal Mint packaging. You can only get silvers and stuff, which I don't want. So I had to get this off of eBay. It was quite, um, probably a bit overpriced, but I've wanted it for a long time. It was the cheapest one I could find. So 2018 Frankenstein in the change decker card. But I just think this is stunning. One of the nicest coins. Really like it, really happy with it. You might as well do the next change checker thing while we're on the subject. So I got this as well, the D-Day 75th anniversary £2 coin. So I don't have a lot of £2 coins in bunk packaging, so this was face value as well. Two quid for two quid, can't go wrong. Um, I did get a scratch card. What year was this one? Oh, 2019. Did get a scratch card, which I will do now. Uh, let me just grab a coin. Do the line. It's a new one, I believe, because the blue's a bit lighter on the back. Is that? I can't even. There's an N in it. I can't tell. Alright, so we got Olympic Canoe in. I don't think this is one that I've got. So obviously it was issued in 2011. United Kingdom, Ian Rake Broadley. Um, Timothy Lees was the reverse designer and there's 2.1 million. Key fact is the Canoe in 53 was designed by Timothy Lees, a stone carver who is a member of the Royal British Sculptors. So, yep, yeah, there's that. I will scratch the rest off later. I will need to limp roll up this stuff. So the next thing that came in the post, I've already opened it because I got impatient, but this is from my good friend Bungle. There's his PO box address if anyone wants it. So we got this very long note. <laughs> oh, 10th of the 9th, 20. So things to do today. One, get a 2008 Lion. 10p so basically what it is i on my date run the only one i needed was 2008 so bungle very kindly sent me well two which i'll show in a minute so i get another 2008 line and clean it so i've got a clean version and then send it to catherine with a y is my, my name's catherine and he always spells it wrong Yes, yeah, so, hello my friend, please find and close the 10p you need to complete your date run. The 10p's I have are all in circulated condition, so I sent two. One is circulated and I cleaned the other one. I rubbed some auto sole on it and left it for five minutes and then rubbed it with a cloth for 20 seconds. Very shiny. So yeah, there's that one. It is very shiny, I'll show you again in a second. Uh, thank you for the lovely picture. <laughs> the lovely picture that you sent to me and Lady M. I know you like arts and crafts and your pitch was very artistic. Speak soon, Bungle. And at the time of writing this, you had two, two, five, seven subs. Um, <laughs> so yeah, very nice. Sweet little letter put out there. So yeah, you, obviously a lot of you realize, realize. So yeah, obviously a lot of you know that I'm quite artsy. So I'm always, uh, always sending me pictures around and stuff. But yeah, so we have the 2008 Lion to go in my date run. I'll probably put this one in with it and then this nice clean one. I'll just stick it in a flip and have it in um in my folder with the rest of them. But oh, they do look nice. Oh, 
they do look nice when they're shiny. So this one can go in special storage. And then he also very kindly, I'm getting a nice old collection of K's here. I think I've got about four now. <laughs> and that's not including the bunk ones. So he sent me a K and a Y. And they're both from 2018. Yeah, I've got warm hands. So you've all seen these before. K. And then Y. And if you haven't seen my <laughs> my eight is a ten p video, Rebecca, I would recommend it. It's quite funny. We didn't know what half of these things were. So yeah, thank you very much to Bungle for these. I do appreciate it. These will go in flips with your name on it because you sent them to me. Next thing is my parents just been away to Scotland. So they picked me up a £10 note. I've got a fiver, I've got two £1 notes and I've got a £20 note. So as they were going, I said, pick me up a tenner, I haven't got one. So yeah, they got me one. Not in great condition, but you know, it's, it's a circulating note. And it's just got the little otters on the back. It's quite cute. I don't really know what that says. Very nice. I like the Scottish notes. Like I was said before, I'm not an avid note collector, but these are pretty. These are pretty. Okay, and then the last thing I want to show in this video is a collection that I've wanted to kind of delve into a bit more for a while, but I just haven't. Um, but now I have, and you know, that slippery slope, I'm probably uh, sliding down it pretty rapidly. But I've picked up four of the US state quarters. Um, I've already, I think I've got two or three now. Well, I already have two or three, but again, they're ones that are going into flips and then going into my folder. But yeah, so the first one that I have here is a Hilo. It's from 2002. He's got a little spaceman, uh, birthplace of aviation pioneers, which is pretty cool. Ooh, I forget these are weird, don't they? And it's got a D mint mark on it. Right, so the next one we have is Indiana, and it says Crossroads of America on there, and this one's also from 2002. D-mint mark again. Cool. And the third one is 2001, and this is New York, which is the gateway to freedom. You see the Statue of Liberty on there? I don't know what the building is behind. Not building. don't know what the rocks are behind them. This one's a P-mint mark. And then last, but certainly not least, we have Florida. So this one's from 2004. Oh, and it says Gateway to Discovery on there. Obviously, there's a spaceship, some weird ship thing, and I don't know. But yeah, so this is probably the next set I'm going to be working on. P mint mark. But yeah. So that is all of the stuff that I've received, slash bought, slash been given recently. Um, I, just, I just don't know how to feel at the moment. Yeah, so, right, as I said, I will try my best to get out and get my coins so we can get back to the hunts because I do miss doing them. I just haven't had the motivation to go out, really. Um, but hopefully this was all right. I'm taking a look at some of this stuff that I've got recently. Everybody loves some new stuff, so, yeah. So thanks to Bungle. Thanks to me, ma'am. Um... And yeah, thanks to you guys for the support. We've passed 350 subscribers already, which is just mad. But yeah, thank you. Appreciate the support. Hopefully you're all keeping well and I will speak to you soon. Bye guys.